Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to pass a road test. And this is what Smart Drive Test specializes in, helping you pass a road test regardless of where you are in the world, regardless of what class of license you're going for, or regardless of how old you are. Stick around. We'll be right back with that information. Badamazi is here. Hello, everyone. If you're just tuning in, let us know where you're tuning in from and what class of license you're going for in the world. Jake. And this is the other part that I really like is smart drivers who are supporting each other, who are helping each other out and sharing their experiences. And that's the other uh, community that I wanted to build was smart drivers who are helping each other and, and supporting each other and being positive and one of the things I will tell you is is that I do police the comments to the best of my ability here on YouTube and YouTube has some fantastic tools for me to do that and I really work hard to make this channel about empowerment and about a safe place for people to learn and people to be you know start a career as a truck or bus driver learn some defensive driving and learn how to pass a road test okay new videos this week how to avoid potholes i had a uh, request from damien there in montreal and i did that and if you watch the video you'll learn why there's a chicken in the pothole and tell the story about the chickens and potholes and montreal and how all that comes together so have a look at that as well campaign and corey will put up the link for you for the 100k campaign here's the video And I just noticed in that video that she winks at the end of the, uh, when the last line comes up, helping 100,000 uh, drivers get their license. So yes, I'm gonna do the draw this week. So if you've passed your road test this year, and we helped you, Smart Drive Test, go over to the Smart Drive Test website, sign up for the draw, and you'll go into the draw for a monthly fuel card of $100 here in North America, and we'll help you do that. And the other, one of the other criteria is for the winner who wins the $100 fuel card, uh, I just need a copy of your p learner's permit of your new license that it's been issued within this year, and then that way you'll be eligible for the 100,000K. So we're going to get caught up on that. We're going to do the first draw, and we'll get caught up back to January here, so that's going to happen as well. The other piece about a road test is, is that seven eight eighths of the road test is in a forward motion. One eighth is these slow speed maneuvers, and it's these slow speed maneuvers that give drivers the most grief. And it's that drivers with driver training are 97% successful on a road test. So if you don't want to go out and take formalized training with a local driving school, you can go over to the Smart Drive Test website, sign up for my course take that course get a practice driving test with a local driving school and you are in a very good position to be successful on your road okay. test and as edna says in the incredibles luck favors the prepared so charnel how long does a road test usually last it depends where you are in north america charnel uh, in ontario some of the road tests are 30 to 40 minutes here in british columbia they're usually about 20 minutes to 30 minutes uh, I do know in New York City and other large metropolitan areas, these can be as short as 10 minutes. Uh, Jack, are people really strict on how far away you should be from the curb? So when you're parallel parking or curb parking, Jack, you should be sort of 8 to 12 inches away from the curb. So if you look at a curb, as, you, as most of us know, sidewalks, it's got the elevated part and then it's got this part here. You should be kind of within that eight to 12 inches away from the curb, which is kind of 15 to 20 centimeters. In Astoria, I failed my road test at the end of March, but then I passed on my second attempt. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for recopying that, uh, Corey there. That's brilliant. Okay, Marty, the $64,000 question, $64, question. Uh, they want to go for 57 foot trailers like in Canada. You'll never be able to get bridge law because you have either too much tail swing or tandems too far back. Yeah. Okay, uh, Sam says that's correct. If you knock the examiner out of his or he, her seat when parallel parking and you hit the curb, it's over. <laughs> that's pretty funny. You'd have to hit it pretty hard uh, to, to, to do that. Well, Sister okay. Sam, why are there so many holes after the winter? Uh, Sister Sam, excellent question. The reason that you have so many holes at, in the winter time is because the moisture underneath the road bed freezes, okay? in the winter time. In the spring, when it warms up, that ice thaws and it becomes water. If you're watching on the replay, consider hitting that thumbs up button, say thanks there, and uh, leave us a question, share around on social media that helps all of the smart drivers to pass the road test and be successful in earning a license. 
If you passed a road test in the last couple of weeks, congratulations, that's awesome. And if you have a road test coming up, good luck on that. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.